So this is a tutorial about um, the Google Chrome Notebook CR48. I had it for a couple days, went to turn it on, got a white screen. Display went out completely. And uh, so uh, I thought it was busted. Recharged it and it uh, still didn't work. Started looking online and uh, came across McMama's musings. So McMama, if you're watching this, Thank you very much. Um, so in the process of going through and fixing this, I thought I would just video it. Maybe it could help some folks out that run into the same problem. Um, but um, I, uh, the first thing you want to do to see if your, your Chrome is, is still working, your notebook, on the VGA port, connect a display to that. Once I did that and, and then turned my Chrome notebook on and saw that it was actually working but the display wasn't working, then I realized it was a display problem. So uh, I went through the teardown, as you're going to see right here, and uh, did a simple fix. Took probably 10 minutes to do once I had all the, the tools. You're going to need a really small screwdriver, and you'll see that in a minute. But if it, it works. So hope this works for you. Good luck. First thing I had to do was to uh, remove the battery from the back, and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, and so I've taken out one, two, three, four five, six, seven screws, and then I've had these three screws right here that I'm having problems with, but I uh, was able to go to Walgreens and get a tr nice little small packet of uh, screwdrivers, and so I'm going to take out these three now uh, uh, and, and begin to remove the back. Okay, got the screws in, now I've got to remove these plastic uh, uh, stoppers here in the back and those uh, are just popping out with a small little flathead screwdriver there's also a screw in here that needs to be removed so I'm going to do that on both okay, of after removing all the screws in the battery compartment here and up here now I have to pry this open I was able to to pry it open pretty well with my fingers so uh, I'm going to finish prying this open here here's the uh, <clears throat> the case <clears throat> The back of the CR48. <clears throat> so I got this way wide view. Um, here's the VGA connector here, and this is where your display is connected. And it is was held here just by this little tape, piece of tape. So I'm taking this tape off, and I'm going by the instructions on uh, uh, McMama's musings here. And uh, I'm going to reattach that. It, it just came out really easily, and I'm hoping this is going to do the trick of fixing the display. So the wires will all look good. They're connected and everything. I'm checking it out. So I'm going to situate it back in there and, and then go from there. Right, so I have uh, the connector and the header really pushed down in there squarely, and I put the tape back over. And so, uh, you know, just while I have this open, uh, here's a 16 gigabyte uh, scan disk uh, memory card in here that's attached just with uh, one screw. And uh, you can see a little bit more of the motherboard here. Um, gonna leave the rest of it alone. Don't want to mess with it too much, obviously. And so, gonna plug everything back up. Gonna put the, the gonna put uh, the case back on, and then we're gonna try to boot it up. And it's, it's hopeful that it's gonna work. All right. So the moment of truth. Uh, I didn't put all the screws back in just yet, but um, got the battery back in, and I'm going to uh, be hopeful that this solves the problem. Going to open it up. Turn the power button on, and we have a fixed Chrome notebook CR48 so far so good we have a display now didn't have it before can't see the screen it was too bright but my login credentials are being requested and it's fixed so I'm so hopeful that this helps uh, some of you out there that run into the same problem Merry Christmas